Hello guys, uh, good uh, morning once again. Uh, you are welcome to the episode 16 of uh, this great channel. Uh, we have a very great topic which we, the totality of the topic is still fit formulation and uh, we are in episode uh, episode uh, 16, yeah episode 16. Right, we started from episode 1 and uh, I told you this is going to be an elaboration uh, analysis uh, lecture which will be talking in depth about uh, basic functions of uh, fish uh, farming. So we'll be talking about the basic function of fish farming. So today we are in episode 16 and um, from the episode 16 we are talking about the recommended uh, food protein for catfish farming. Uh, that, that is what we'll be talking about because based on this, the, depending on how you want to alternate your material, you must understand that there is a specific uh, recommendation of crude protein that will grow the body tissues of your fishes. This is important. So knowing the recommended, uh, knowing the recommended uh, uh, crude protein that is desi desirable to grow your fishes, that means the most needed digestible uh, protein that will grow your fishes. This will help you when you are doing your alternation in the ranges. You need to know that from 2 mm, you will need a percentage ranges of a digestible crude protein at a particular given period for you not to make a mistake. So that is where we'll be dipping in uh, from our program uh, this uh, today. That's where we'll be starting today. But before we continue, let's just go on a short uh, break. So you are welcome once again you are welcome to channel you are welcome to episode 16 and uh, uh, today we'll be talking about uh, the recommended uh, crude protein uh, different recommended uh, stages there is on the stages different sizes of crude protein that is recommended for your fishes so from these uh, 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 from number one I'll be talking about what we call our newly hatched fish when you because sometimes you i normally tell depending on how uh, creativity you are how creative you are you can as well start producing formulating and start producing your fryers fishes that means from the day one when you do your hatchery so i think from the day one after your hex might have eaten the uh, hex the re remnants of the hex for three days so you are advised to start giving them 0.1 of uh, any grains or you can use uh, your davians as a live feed you can use uh, your atemia as a live feed and then uh, you can use your egg yolk as a live feed so but if you don't want to go into that and you want to think you thought you want to go by using the grains so you can as well formulate your own feed yourself and in formulating your own feed yourself, I think uh, you will be needing uh, what we call the uh, the the analysis on how to do your concentration for the day one. Because depending on, because this has a ranges, you must work on a ranges of a crude protein. Because once you are formulating your feed, you are formulating base, base you are formulating based on the numbers and the ranges of the crude protein you should meet there's a certain crude protein you should meet so i'll be giving one by one analysis on this and i know it's better off to take a pen and uh, put it down because a lot of people some people have comment here that uh, they are making their own books on this and which i normally do advise and that is very very good that is what this kind of lecture we do on our Wazal group and a lot of people have developed a book for themselves depending on their own major uh, understanding based on uh, a lecture given 
So on this, uh, I'll be talking about the number one, which are called the newly fryers uh, fishes. And uh, the newly fryers fishes, as we know, has a gram of 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. That means uh, it takes from the day one of their feeding to about five, uh, six weeks. Yeah, this takes about five to six weeks. Though the and these are and from that sizes they take. I think they take 0 0.1 and uh, to 0 0.7 depending on the uh, uh, brand of the feed sometimes 0 0.5 sometimes some feed are brand uh, some feed brands they are 0 0.7 0 0.8 so from these ranges they take it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.8 so if you are taking it for that means from one week to five weeks plus yeah so they take it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.8 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 depending on the branded feed you are using and from that if you are making your concentration on that you will need a percentage of ranges from 65 uh, percent crude protein to 50 percent crude protein once again from 65 percent crude protein to 60 uh, five, uh, from from to from 65 percent crude protein to 50 percent crude protein so let us go to our uh, fingerlings we start from five weeks depending six weeks some people seven weeks depending because we have standard so and it has ranges some people want to sell up their fingerlings at five weeks which i normally tell uh, you guys depending on the space you are giving them uh, sizes of uh, fishes do cushion more depending on the spaces you are giving them but if you're a mass producer and that you don't have much that space your fingerlings may be ready from six weeks to seven weeks but if you have that space and you can run a very good uh, uh, what's it called recuperatory system or you have a wider range of spaces that your flow through is running steadily you can achieve a five weeks note some five weeks are not standard but people uh, we call it uh, fingerlings and from that stages we have their feed from 0 0.5 sometimes to 0 0.1 mm yeah we have it from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 depending <laughs> On the branded of feed so from these stages they have the ranges of 55 percent crude protein to 45 percent crude protein please note it down from 55 percent crude protein and 45 percent crude protein so after that we are going to what we call our post fingerlings post fingerlings uh, from the post fingerlings we have the approximately those feed with a 0 0.8 or 1 mm to 1.8 mm or 1.5 mm the point on the producers of because why i'm saying that is that i know that um, copens have what we call 0 0.8 and uh, i think uh, 0 point 0 point uh, copen 0 0.5 and uh, scratching has 0 0.8 so i'm just giving an example that means depending on the branded feed you are using for your ashery so from post fingerlings ranges from 50 percent crude protein to 45 percent uh, 45 percent crude protein this means that when you are doing uh, your formulation your formulation has to be uh, in that uh, ranges so again let us just go on a quick break So you are welcome once again, and uh, we are talking about uh, post fingerlings. I finish our post fingerlings, and um, I will let us move on to juveniles. Juveniles, uh, they pick uh, commonly they pick two mm. Yeah, they pick two mm sizes for juveniles, and uh, juveniles ranges from uh, forty five percent crude protein to forty percent crude protein. Once again, from forty five percent crude protein to forty percent. Uh, crude uh, uh, protein and uh, from juvenile we'll be going to what we call our post juvenile so our post juvenile are rated and arranging uh, uh, based on uh, uh, sizes too as well we have uh, from there we have what we call the jumbo we have what we call the jumbo we call them jumbo too as well we call them post uh, finger post juvenile and we call them pre jumbo yeah we call them pre uh, pre we call them pre no that is post juvenile, yeah. We call them pre jumbo, are uh, two as well. So, this uh, uh, 
sizes of which is conveniently pick uh, 3 mm yeah 3 mm you pick 3 mm feed conveniently and uh, and uh, the 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 and depending on the sizes and the ranges so we still have what we call the jumbo the standard jumbo yeah but uh, this one i'm talking about the post juvenile takes 3 mm and your formulation has to be on the ranges of 45 percent crude protein and 38 percent crude protein what this really means again is that you must not go more down you must not go more lower more lower that i mean is that you must not go lower than 38 percent crude protein but you must fail you may fail in the ranges of 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 that does not really mean you should work on 45 because as i told you earlier based on this that the more higher it is the more expensive uh, the feed will be so if you are still working with the ranges of 38 39 40 i think uh, is okay to grow their body tissues based on how you can alternate or formulate your own feed yourself so let us just go to the, i think the number six which will be which we call the post juvenile which are the uh, jumbo sizes uh, which are the standard jumbo sizes which uh, <laughs> commonly pick uh, uh, four mm sizes of feed and uh, and uh, this uh, goes uh, from 45 uh, percent uh, crude protein to 30 35 percent crude protein so that means from from 35 you can do to 38 there's nothing wrong in that it still give a very good result and then um, let us go to what we call the melange and melange a selection of uh, different sizes of fishes which are, are above a uh, super jumbo and uh, conveniently these uh, sizes of fishes picks from from 4 mm to 6 mm you can mix it for them sometimes you can pick 6 mm depending on the size the dye of the uh, pelletizer but if you are using the local feed conveniently they can hit 4.5 mm yeah from these sizes the you can range your digestible crude protein for them when you are doing your formulation from 42 percent crude protein to 32 percent crude protein yeah from that stages again we go to what we call the the from that uh, stages when we enter the table size that means the grow out stages we the grow out stages from from ranges of 900 grams to uh, what we call 2 m uh, 2 kilo 3 4 5 6 7 uh, kilo and your formulation for that which uh, are the last stages for farmers to sell yeah the formulations for that uh, should be our uh, ranges of uh, 45 uh, 42 percent crude protein and 30 percent crude protein note you may not work on the 45 percent crude protein based on uh, uh, the 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 cost you'll be having so you may work from 30 31 32 33 35 is okay for them and uh, the last but not the least is our blue stock our blue stock sometimes they are is good when you want to reproduce them when you want to eat commonly eat 9 mm so when you want to reproduce when they want to reproduce maybe you want to use them for hash free so it's good to come upper so so you can come to 45 percent or you can come to 45 to 42 43 44 to me it's still okay and uh, from uh, you can go lower to 38 percent crude protein when you want to use them for reproduction so because normally people do ask me such question using costly feed and rationing your fish feed intakes per day because of high cost of feed will only leads to excess high cost of running and you may eventually lose part of your fishes to cannibalism knowing how to concentrate a highly nutritional formulation will help you solve all your feeding problem and the problem of underfeeding will stop you can also control your fish feed early prevention from diseases different kind of diseases by by making them by making them disease free by adding some level of medication as additive to mix with the formulation what this is implies that for those of us who sometimes want to prevent our fishes from uh, diseases or you notice there's a sign of symptoms of diseases on them if you are running your formulation uh, uh, yourself you can put some medication some antibiotics antifungal 
uh, depending a mixture with the feed and you can use the herbal stuff to mix with the feed we should be talking about in our catfish diseases and symptoms so i will not be going into that now so it i'm just talking about pushing the advantages that you can get in formulating your feed yourself so uh, from this uh, uh, once you notice any symptoms in your fish at its earlier you get a medicated formulated to suit the challenges either your fish is sick or not feeding with a appropriate from a proportional level of antibiotics and multivitamin will take care of those problems for you that means you are free to go on them so if you have a chicken processor that means a poultry plant you can talk to them to get your chicken ovals at a wholesale or a very cheap price by pro that means by you uh per boiling uh, the the for your fishes that means your chicken ovals the ruminant of the chickens and uh, uh that means when you are close to a processor the processor normally comes with uh, every day with lot of uh, chickens over chickens remnant you can get it from there you parboil it and uh, this is just an advantages for uh, feed you can give to your fishes so you can parboil it and give to your fishes this takes a ranges of 30 percent to 35 uh, 35 percent and 60 percent to 65 percent uh, crude protein so this is just an expo so we'll be going into our episode 17 so stay tuned and to watch our episode 17